I'm Don Leeser, the Madden River Mountain Ski Patrol, and today we're going to do a quick walkthrough of the inspection and loading of our toboggans. This is a Cruiser SS, and when you pull it out, you're going to want to do a quick visual inspection, um, make sure everything's working correctly. You're going to look at the handles, make sure they aren't bent, bowed, that there's no cracks. Um, you want to make sure that it has the uh, brake release attached and the brake is there also. Um, Make sure it's intact. Put these handles out of the way. Next, you want to inspect the shell. Uh, do a quick visual inspection. Make sure all the bolts um, and uh, rivets are there. Quickly uh, looking over, make sure there's no holes. Um, that everything's intact. All the straps, um, there's handles in the front and the back. Uh, they're there. They're not frayed. Um, you want to make sure you have a uh, rope in the back. We'll make sure it's not frayed. Um, make sure it's attached. Um, you want to flip it over on the bottom. Make sure the fins are there, that they're attached and not broken off. And last of all, the spray guard is attached and operating as it should be. Okay, we're going to walk you through the uh, inspection for a uh, Cascade 100. Uh, so the first thing you want to do, you want to look at the handles, make sure they're intact, they're, they're not cracked, they're not bowed, bent. You want to make sure you've got your brake release intact, not frayed, and your brake, making sure it's there and intact. Next, you want to inspect uh, the bolts right here, making sure they're there and they're tight. Uh, inspect the shell, looking for any cracks, uh, making sure all the bolts and all the rivets are there. You want to Turn it over, make sure you, the fins are intact, not broken off. You want to inspect the handle locks to make sure they're operating and they're attached correctly. You want to inspect the front and back handles, make sure they're, they're there and they're not frayed. Last of all, you can inspect the tail rope to make sure it's attached and there's no cuts, frays, or anything like that. Okay, now we're going to load the uh, toboggan back up to go back out on the hill. First thing you want to do, put the backboard in under the straps. Next, you want to get your tarp. Inside the tarp, you're going to put your fully loaded uh, blue bag that's been inspected for all its contents. You're going to secure that wrapped up bag with the last strap and then you're going to tuck the tail rope under so it's in there nice and tight it's not going to come out make sure your bag's in there that's it's secure you tuck that strap under so it'll fly out and last you want to put the handles down now it's ready to go back out onto the hill Hi, my name is Jonah Tagawan. I'm a senior patroller and a young adult patroller with the Mad River Mountain Ski Patrol. And today we'll be talking about the similar, the similarities and differences between the features of the Cascade 100 and Cruiser SS toboggans that are in use at the school. So what's similar about these uh, two toboggans is it has a lot to do with their innards. Each is going to come loaded with a backboard and a fully inspected blue bag in its tarp. Each toboggan also has the same strap system. This is our quick release system. 
to take the quick release system off when it's tight, you're going to pull on this uh, orange tab up. This will have slack and you'll just turn it, place it right through that ring like a key. Um, to tighten it, you do the reverse, place it back in, wind that up, and you're going to pull this this way. You may have to feed it in from the bottom as well. <clears throat> the handle systems are somewhat different. On the Cruiser SS toboggan, you're going to see that this uh, we have a spray guard on the front of the toboggan that also serves as a, an adjustment point for three height levels of the handles. Um, you can see these holes here. These are just going to fit in there. This is how it locks. The Cruiser SS doesn't have any handle locks on the side, on the shell of the toboggan. The uh, Cascade 100, the, the handle locks are right here. They'll both flip up from each side, go around the handle, and then you got to push that to lock it down. The Cruiser SS handles release upwards. When you have them in a vertical position, you will put them And each also has the same brake release mechanism that you're going to inspect that helps to change. When you're inspecting the toboggan for use, you're also going to want to note that the fins are different on the two toboggans. On the Cruiser SS, we have the fins angled slightly outward. On the Cascade 100, they're going to be angled straight down. One more difference between the Cascade 100 and the Cruiser SS is that the Cruiser SS has an anchor spike system on the sides of its shell. Um, these come out with a key system. So to take them out at an incident and anchor it down, you are going to turn this away from the toboggan and slide it out. See that little nib there? This swivels right here and you'll push it down into the snow. Distort it's just the reverse and make sure before you start moving the toboggan that you lock it by placing that right back against the side of the toboggan. Thank you. This is uh, just an overview of where our toboggans are stored on the hill. Thank you for, attention, this, for your attention. This has been the overview between the, of the differences um, and similarities between the features of our two toboggans as well as the inspection and loading of our two toboggans.